Hi everybody, it's Lauren. Welcome to a rewind plan with me on um, Halloween, the week of October the 30th. The kit I'm showing you right now is from White Deer Stationery Company. I got the deluxe kit, the glitter headers, um, the deco. I'm also showing you some of the um, foil stickers that I'm using from White Deer Stationery and Clever Gal Crafts. Um, they are, and let's see, I think I grabbed the Lily colorway from Clever Gal Crafts. Um, I was so excited for the spread. I, sh White Deer Stationery Company is from Canada, so, it, and I live in the U.S., so it takes kind of a while for, um, them to get to me, hence the rewind spread. I didn't get it in time to plan with it. Um, I think I got it on October, let's see, today is October the, or no, gosh, November the 10th, I want to say, um, Friday, and I think I got this Thursday the 9th, and I literally laid it down and started planning with it immediately, um, I'm flipping it to the spread of my planner to see if I have all my dates right, but yeah, so right now, oh, my dates are right, cool, so right now I am using some of the deco, um, for the thankful thought box in the corner. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if she hand draws her own clip art or if she buys it, um, like exclusively, but I never see any of the clip art she uses in her kits anywhere else. So that's one reason why I really love her kits that, and she uses a premium matte paper that I really like too. But, um, the clip art that she uses is just like very, feminine and pretty and understated and like not too much for me and I just love it I, I think it's very much my style so um yeah that is my sidebar I'm starting to work on Monday I'm putting down my little things um I'm actually I just filmed a voiceover for my Halloween spread that is not a rewind spread it's my normal one um and I feel like I said a lot of this stuff sorry my phone keeps going off um I feel like I said a lot of this stuff, like, about my plans for the week, so I remembered that, um, maybe a couple weeks ago, someone asked me either, like, in a YouTube comment or a comment on my Instagram, maybe, or even maybe a message on Instagram, um, they asked me about my, like, how, not my planning style necessarily, but, like, ugh, they worded it a lot better than I'm going to right now, but they asked me, like, how I, um, kind of like function in my planner like do I do things chronologically or like what what's what goes where basically I wish I could find the comments so I could word it as well as they did but I thought I'd talk a little bit about it because I think it is probably pretty confusing to anybody who's not me um so and there isn't necessarily like a super super like set like rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Th there is a little bit, but it's kind of organized chaos more than anything else. Um, let me real quick before I get into that, I'm going to see if I can call out the stickers that are not from the kit. On top, the balloons for the birthday that I marked are, um, I'm using silver foil also with this kit because obviously it matches really well. Those balloons are from, um, White Deer Stationery Co. Uh, I think the industrial colorway. The laundry, the silver foil laundry basket with the script is also from White Deer Stationery Co., not from the kit though. And then the work header at the bottom over the three heart checklist is from Rose Color Days, also silver foil. Anyway, so back to my, um, the functionality of my planner. So a lot of, so a lot of things I'll do with the little things is I will mark my, um, my meals and then my, I keep track of my mail down there. Um, I try ish sometimes to, to do things chronologically. Like I, if, you know, if I'm going out to dinner at night or something, that's going to be towards the bottom and not towards the top. But sometimes that doesn't always work out. Like you can see at the bottom, I like, I like to group all my meetings together or like things together, errands together a lot of times too. Even if I'm doing them at different type times of the day, like you could see on, um, Monday I had a meeting at 10 AM, 11 AM and 2 PM, but I grouped them all together. So I'll kind of do stuff like that too. I'll just group things together, um, and then 
I'll spread kind of like the rest of the stuff out. Like if something has a time, um, like a dinner or something, I'll put it at the bottom and the rest of the stuff I'll spread out throughout the day. Also stuff like, um, you can see I marked Lisa's birthday at, on the top there. That's my boyfriend's sister. Um, if it's like an all day thing, I try and put it towards the top in general. Um, like a payday, a bill due. Actually, bills I kind of put anywhere. A birthday, if someone's out of town. I'll try and put those things at the top. Unless someone leaves for out of town in the nighttime, then I might put it at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. There's like an ish method to the madness, but I, I don't even know if it's interesting to listen to because it probably only makes sense to me. Um. Okay, so. Oh, and the other thing too. I, I also will ish not always, like, but I'll try and mark things, their size, the size of how big I put something in my planner will mark, will, like, correspond with how important I think that it is, or, um, how, like, if it's a big event or something, or if it's a one-time event, um, yeah, and it's important, it'll be bigger, like, I might use a, like a half box on top of a full box or something or something like that and then um or if it's like a long something that's going to take all day I might do that too if it's like a long event so things the size of things not always but often correspond with like their importance or their time and other than that it's all kind of random (laughs) so um I'm gonna look back let's see what did I mark um, on Tuesday, I marked Halloween with silver foil from a Rose Color Days holiday sheet. It says, Happy Halloween on top of a pumpkin. And then I marked my, like, errands and stuff that I had to do with a three-heart checklist. And I used another, uh, silver foil camera from the White Deer Stationery foil sheet that I had. Same with, um, on Wednesday, I used a dumbbell from that same sheet to mark my last day of flywheel, which is my spin classes. I had bought a package that ended that day. Um, Joe's for coffee, that um, coffee cup is from, I never want to, I always butcher this. I know I'm not saying it right, and I'm so sorry, but the shop is called, the shop, it, it's spelled Z-I-M-E-N-A, which I think in Spanish might be like Jimena, Camila, <laughs> and then, so sorry if I said that wrong. And then the rest of the stickers from that day were stickers from the kit. Um, okay, yeah, marking, putting my date covers down now, and we'll also put my bottom washi. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that, like, I do without really thinking about, um, for, like, more method to my madness that I might not realize I don't think so. Not necessarily. Okay, let's see. So back to um back to Thursday, my little things. I'm marking down Joe's sandwich. Oh my goodness. I just filmed my last video of this spread, like I said, the like actual not rewind, the like plan as I go spread that I did. And uh, when I was like doing the voiceover, I saw that I wrote down Joe's sandwich that same day too obviously and I was like what is a Joe's sandwich like what is I don't even know what a sandwich I would have for Joe from Joe's like I don't know what that is and I just felt so silly because I was like oh of course literally the Joe's coffee that I had on Wednesday I had a coffee a sandwich from Joe's on Thursday and I could not figure out what that was in my voiceover I felt so dumb when I figured that out so whoops anyways okay so marking um, with a work script sticker from Rose Colored Days, I had a meeting at 2 p.m. I put down, um, a three heart checklist. I really love three heart checklists. Um, I love when kids include them. So I put one of those down and then that really pretty full box. Mm, I was marking that my boyfriend came over that night with a heart from Clever Gal Crafts from the Lily colorway and a flag from the kit. And then I had, um, I got my hair done since we were leaving to go on vacation the next day. So I marked that with another bow from Clever Gal Crafts in the Lily colorway as well. Um, and then I marked some things I had to do before we left on our trip. I'm such a last minute packer. I was packing at like 11 o'clock at night and I was so tired. 
Um, and I'm looking for a sticker to mark that. I, I don't know why, like I travel fairly often, but I just do not have any cute, um, not any, but I don't have enough cute, like suitcase travel stickers. If anybody has any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Um, but I ended up with that bow from the, um, GP sticker studio, $50 plus sampler, which yes, I have received <laughs> many a times. Um, okay. Uh, Friday I marked my day off with a silver foil sticker from a rose colored days samplers. Um, and then I am using a, that really pretty, I think that might be my favorite full box from the kit, the pumpkin one. And then, oh my god, I took that travel time sticker, which I'm obsessed with, from um, White Deer Stationery Co. It has that, like, gorgeous suitcase, and then the travel in, travel time in silver foil. I love that. Um, I marked that my flight from Alabama, or no, from Oakland, was at 7.45 a.m., very early. I feel like it was at 7.30. I might have written that down wrong. Mm. Oh, 7.35. Yeah, I'm looking at my other planners at 7.35. Um, it was a long day of flying. We lost a couple hours going from Alabama to, or California to Alabama because of the time zones. So we didn't end up getting there until um, I'm looking for another sticker to mark when we landed. Uh, we flew to Houston first, had a long layover, and then made it to Alabama at like 6.45 p.m. for them. So we lost like an entire day basically flying. Um, but we did go out to the bars with my sister. I was visiting my sister in Alabama. She's a senior in college. It was her last home game and my first Alabama home game. First time going to the South, actually. But anyway, so we went to the bars with her that night, which was really fun. Um, I marked it with a Sweet Fox papery sticker. I could not hang. It's been a while since I've been in college and they were drinking, like, she had all these sugary drinks and stuff that college kids have same stuff I used to drink when I was in college literally but like drinking it at 25 I'm like oh my Lanta it's just so much just so I just can't do it anymore um okay on to Saturday I marked um the weekend I didn't use the weekend banner from the kit instead I used that silver one from rose colored days and then I marked lunch and my mail for my little things, um, I kind of went on a spiel about this in my other plan with me that I just filmed on this week, but we went to McDonald's with her, that's what she wanted for lunch, um, and, like, I, sorry if you just listened to the other one and you heard me go on the spiel, but I do not eat McDonald's, I literally, or, like, anything like that, really, I'll eat Taco Bell if it's, like, Friday night, but, or in and out but other than that, I don't eat, like, fast food, and it was like a shock to my system. I was like, what is this? What do I order? <laughs> and I don't know. We ate like that kind of all weekend. And it just like, you can probably hear it in my voice. I am sick now. This is the following week after this weekend. Um, between the drinking and the eating like crap and um, the all the traveling, long travel days. I just like, my body was like, Lauren, what are we doing here? So, yeah. Um, back to Saturday. I marked that sleep in sticker is from GP Sticker Studio and the heart is from a foil page from White Deer Stationery Co. I used that all black um, glitter full box and I layered a um, half box over it. This is kind of what I was talking about. So what I'm marking here was that it was like the game day, um, which is like an all day thing, biggest thing that day, important thing to me, like a big event. So that's the sort of thing that I'll like mark in a, um, like a big chunk of space like that, where I'll like flip a half box over, layer it over a full box and like make a big deal out of it. Um, I marked it with a today sticker that's, um, from Rose Color Days. That is the, um, oh, what's, what's her name? Oh, the planner sophisticate handwriting like sampler from Rose Color Days. And then that girl is Alice from GP Sticker Studio. She's like a sporty sports kind of girl. So I used it to mark the football game. Um, Alabama versus LSU. Alabama obviously won. Um, and then I took that beer mug from 
um, from Elise Prince to mark that we went, we started um, the day at the bars at 2 p.m. and were there until the game at 7. I'm also marking up top with a another bow from Clever Gal Crafts and a car sticker from the kit that we kind of like did a quick car tour of just like some of her campus it's massive and it, a lot of it was honestly really closed off for a game day like they shut down a lot of the campus for like car traffic and stuff it's kind of madness I've never really been somewhere like to some sport event quite like that before but we got a quick tour I got to see like my sorority house there and my boyfriend got to see his fraternity house there and um which were like massive it was insane it was nothing like the houses that like we actually were went to um at our schools in California but that was really cool to see um on Sunday I marked my little things at the bottom and then my one of my best friends from college's birthday was on San, uh, ugh, Sunday, so I marked that with foil stickers, again, from White Deer Stationery Company Co. Um, we went to lunch with my sister. That's horrible handwriting. I can't believe I wrote it like that, but that says CPK Jewels on that appointment label, and then there's silver foiled um, fork and knife to mark that. Um, I'm marking in that half box right there I'm looking for a sticker to mark again I don't have any good travel stickers so you'll see I pull out another yep a GP girl from GP sticker studio who just looks like cute and maybe like she's traveling um I use that to mark that my flight was just so delayed we it took like 15 hours for us to get home on Sunday it was a nightmare um and then I'm marking daylight savings with a foil icon from the kit and an appointment label. Thank goodness it was daylight savings or else I'd be even more sick and tired than I am right now. <laughs> um, marking off some of the check boxes that I didn't check off. And I'm marking in my sidebar my skincare, my work schedule. Oh, my donate crap, which I clearly failed at this weekend. But that's okay. And then under the goals, I'm just writing some of the, like, running to-dos that I always put in my sidebar for the week. That's all the... I just showed you all the stickers that I had left. And I am putting some paper clips up there and showing you all the pretty foil. I'm trying to go slow so you can, like, really appreciate all the foil because it does look so pretty in the light. I love it. Um, and that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed this spread. Sorry to hit you with so many Halloween spreads afterwards, but yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Have a good night. Bye.